So, ramen noodles and easy math is not exactly every college student's idea of going out to eat for a meal. And eating healthy can be really expensive, so every college student knows what it is to fall on the budget. <laughs> you, can do, you can eat healthy even if you live in a dorm room or if you live off campus. Um, I am currently going through this myself, trying to change my ways and live a healthier lifestyle. And so if you fear the freshman 15 or the sophomore 20 or you just want to get into better shape, this is something you can do. So I'm going to tell you some benefits of eating healthy, some um, healthy meal options, and then how to plan when going to the grocery store. Okay, so eating healthy increases your energy levels. <laughs> it improves your brain function. It is an effective weight loss and it puts you in a better mood, increases your heart health, because if you eat a good meal, you're gonna be able to go out and be energized and you know, work out, or before a test, like if I'm really hungry, like I can't focus, or if I need to do all the homework, I have to eat before I do it. Um, and you can get creative with meals. There's a lot of meal options out there. You can Google them. You can go on Pinterest, buy cookbooks, pretty much anything. Um, another thing you can do is sub unhealthy ingredients for healthy ingredients. So you can use like bananas or applesauce for in place of eggs or butter or oil. Um, use whole wheat pasta instead of regular pasta. Use Greek yogurt or non-fat yogurt instead of the regular yogurt. Um, okay. So I'm going to show you some simple meals. Instead of cheating Alfredo, a lot of people like pasta. You can get that for, you can get pasta for a dollar, the chicken for about six or seven dollars, Alfredo sauce for about two dollars, and then you can, you know, add cheese or broccoli or mushrooms or whatever. Okay, and then we have pizza. You know, everyone loves pizza. You can get tomato and basil sauce for about one dollar. You can get turkey pepperoni slices for about Six dollars and skinned mozzarella cheese for about three dollars and whole wheat crust for about four or five dollars. It just depends on what type you want to buy. Fajita quesadilla. You can get tortillas for about three dollars, an onion for about a dollar, bell peppers for about two or three dollars, shredded low fat cheese for three dollars, tomatoes for two dollars, and chicken for six or seven dollars. And another thing to do is throughout the week, if you cut some meat out of your meals, it'll save you money. And I mean, you don't have to do that every day, but it's a lot healthier. Okay, so going to the grocery store, you just, you wanna plan, you set your budget, you know, college students, their budget's probably gonna be, you know, 25, 30, 40, and you know, probably about 50 or 60 dollars. You wanna buy a variety of foods, so, fruits, vegetables, you know, your meat, all of that. Um, don't limit yourself to certain brands, like store brands. A lot of people are like, oh, I don't want to get that because it sounds good, but if you've never tried it, you know, it can be just as good and it's a lot cheaper. Um, store savings. So I go to Kroger, and I have a Kroger card, and so every time I check out a pan, when I scan that, it takes a bunch off of my bill. And you know, you can cut coupons if you have time. If you don't, that's fine. Um, always eat a meal before you go shopping. You don't want to go to the grocery store and empty stomach. You know, want to buy everything in sight. And also, don't buy specials just because it's like two for one. Like, just because you think you're getting a deal, you know, buy what you really need, like the essential things. Eat in season, so not all fruits and vegetables are going to be here in the winter or in the summer. So buy your essentials in bulk. So like you, your olive oil to cook in, and when you go, um, if you are really trying to stick to your budget, bring cash so you'll never go over. Because if you only have a certain amount, you're never going to spend more. And so I've told you healthy items, um, or I've told you why it's important to be healthy, some
some healthy options and when you go to the grocery store, stick to your list and practice makes perfect.